my name is AJ Pura and I am the author of the Anathalian series. I'm also a self-published author and I do my own interior formatting. And interior formatting is what this video and this series of videos will be about. Um, so I'm going to walk you through all the steps of interior formatting from, I use one of my own books and I took videos from the steps of just having the text and not even having the text in the right font that I wanted all the way up until publishing. So every single step, each video will be a different step. So I'll go in depth into each step, um, as much in depth as you can. Some will be very short, like changing the font type, um, and some will be a lot more in depth, like putting pictures into your manuscript. So if you have any questions about interior formatting, watch this video, watch this series of videos. Also, I have a longer video that talks about many aspects of formatting and it puts it all in one video. So I will link that video below. Um, this video will be in a playlist once I get more than one video. This video and series will be in a playlist, but I will also link that long video below. So if you, um, so if this is one of the earlier videos and you don't find what you want yet, you can find what you want in that longer video. And you can always ask questions in the comments, of course. All right, this video is going to be about how to do your copyright page in your front matter. So your copyright page typically goes right after your full information title page. Um, so I just typed copyright page here as a placeholder, but we are gonna put in the full information. Um, and now if you look at this, you'll see that this is not the right information because this book is called Tiny Sam and this says water rising. So I'm going to go through and show you how to fix this because I just copy and pasted it from another book. Um, so the first thing you want to do, you want to say copyright and the year that you're going to publish your book and then who it is copyright by. So um, how to find the copyright symbol. Go up here to the insert tab, go all the way over here to symbols, click on it. I have the copyright symbol right there, recently used. If you don't, you can go to more symbols. I've got subset general punctuation selected and the copyright symbol, let's use the little bar here. It's right up by the top. There it is, right there, copyright symbol. And you would just click that and wherever your cursor is is where it's going to insert that copyright symbol. So, um. <laughs> I accidentally inserted a J. But you want the copyright symbol first, a space, then the year, this happens to be 2024, and then the publisher. So since I'm publishing this book with another author, we haven't decided yet who, what publishing name we're going to use. Um, and so I'm just going to keep mine there as a placeholder for now. But I'm probably going to highlight it so I don't forget we need to change that. And you can do that with yours. If you're not sure of something on your copyright page, just highlight it and you'll see it and you'll know to change it later. But we do know the title and the title is what comes next. Um, one second, let me turn on my paragraph marks so you can see you have what line we just did, one space, then you're going to have your title. And I put most of my copyright page in 10 point font. See, 10 point font was that first line. 10 point font is all this rest of this stuff. You kind of want your copyright page in a smaller font. Um, but your title, you want it in a slightly bigger font. So it is a 12 point font. And you want your title bolded. Um, yes, bolded, slightly bigger font. And this title is Tiny Sam. And we have a subtitle. We have a longer title and a subtitle, but we haven't revealed it yet. So I don't want to give it away. So I'm just going to type tiny Sam, but you want to type, um, your full title here. You don't need the subtitle, but your full title of the book. But like I said, I haven't typed it here because we haven't revealed it yet. So then you're going to have this paragraph. Um, I will put this paragraph below in the description so you can like copy and paste it if you want because this is what's standard in all in all books this paragraph is in all books it says all rights reserved no portion of this book may be reproduced stored in a retrieval system or transmitted in any form or by any means electronic mechanical photocopy recording scanning or other except for brief quotations in critical reviews or articles without prior written permission of the publisher uh, that just protects you from getting copyrighted 
And then you want to say published in the United States of America by your publisher name or published wherever it is. If you're in Canada, if you're in the UK, if you're in Australia, put published in wherever you published it by whoever the publisher is. And that's going to be the same person as up here. If you are an independent publisher, use your name. If you um, have like a publishing title you go by, like a you call yourself a certain company when you publish, go by that. But that's going to be the same thing here and here. And then you don't have to put this next bit for information about the publisher visit. And then you put a website. I put my book website, hapruitt.com. Um, so people know if they want to know more about my books, they can go there. So then next you want to credit people. Um, on this one, cover and interior illustrations are created by and copyright of, oh, I'm sorry, my brain just was like, do this, um, highlight that because we don't know in Tiny Sam who we're going to say is published by the name because there's two of us, we may use like a joint company name or something like that. We don't know yet. We haven't figured it out. So the next thing you want to credit people and this one some people credit their editors some people credit their formatters some people and you don't want to like do your thank you to your mom here this is where you credit your professional help um like you like i said your illustrator your editor your formatter anyone who you said this is a professional person i hired and i want to give them credit on this copyright page and say this belongs to them. They did this. This is their work. Um, just like you're saying, this is my work and you can't copyright it. This is where you say this is their work and you can't copyright their work. Definitely 100% put your illustrator and or cover designer on this page. The formatter and editor are kind of optional, but you definitely want to protect your um, designer, illustrator, their work, their artwork. So I do my own covers and illustrations, and I did it for this book too. And so it says, cover and interior illustrations are created by and copyright of H.A. Pruitt. And that stays like it is, um, because I did this for both books. The one I copied this, the one I copied this page from and this book I put it in. And then publisher's note. So publisher's note is for works of fiction. You don't need this if you're doing like poetry, which is technically nonfiction, um, unless like your poems are fiction. Poetry is kind of a, it can be whatever it wants to be. But if you're doing a nonfiction book, you don't need this because it says publishers know this novel is a work of fiction. Names, characters, places, and incidents are either products of the author's inf imagination or used fictitiously. All characters are fictional and any similarity to people living or dead is purely coincidental. I'll put this in the description too so you can just see it there. Um, and then you want to put your ISBN numbers. Now, I have three here because I had, in the book I got this from, Water Rising, I had a paperback, an ebook, and a special edition hardback. You do need a different ISBN for each format of your book um, because it's technically a different book. It's a different format, so the seller like Amazon is going to say this is a different book. The paperback is different from the ebook. You can because it's not exactly the same thing. Um so so for this book for Tiny Sam we're going to have a paperback and an ebook. We may have an audiobook at some point, but I don't know yet and it's easy to type that line. So for now we just know we have paperback and ebook. And these are not the correct ones. And so I'm going to highlight them. And you can get your ISBN just like from Amazon. It will give you a free one or you can buy it um, and get like your own personal ISBN number. And so um, whenever we decide what our ISBN is, I'm just going to type it in there where it says paperback and ebook. And that is some other, some people have some other things like the, oh, that Library of Congress number. But if you're self-publishing your book, this is this is probably everything you're going to need. This is probably more than you're going to need. I got everything on there. If you are citing, like, the Bible, they, or some other book, they may want you to put in here somewhere that you um, got something from them. So make sure and look that up. 
Um, this is where you credit people. So if you have used anybody's work in any way, you want to credit them on this copyright page. That's what that copyright page is for. And you credit yourself and say, people can't steal this stuff. Um, my table of contents does not belong right here. So let's put um, layout breaks next page. And it's going to move my table of contents where it belongs away from here. And that's your copyright page. Oh, and like I said, I like it at the bottom. And how you do that is you just press enter until it's where you want it at the bottom of the page. <laughs> Super fancy, I know. Um, and so that is how you make your copyright page. Remember, this is part of a series. Please check the playlist to see if you need any other help with any other aspect of formatting. And there's that longer video that you can look at that will be in the description below. Always ask questions if you want to ask questions. This is a difficult process to do your own interior formatting, so please ask questions. Let's help each other. Um, please comment this comment. Please like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Please share this video and this playlist with others so they can find it too and have help too. And thank you very much for watching. Bye. If you want to know more about Anna Thalian or H.A. Pruitt, please follow me on Instagram at H.A. Pruitt. You can find me on Amazon as an Amazon author, H.A. Pruitt. Please watch my YouTube channel and all my cool videos on my channel, H.A. Pruitt Anna Thalian. You can find me on the Facebook page, H.A. Pruitt Anna Thalian. You can follow me on Goodreads by the name H.A. Pruitt and the book Anna Thalian. Or you can go to my website where so much cool stuff about Anna Thalian is. The website is hapruitt.com.